Thank you, Brandon. This next hilarious comedian truly tells it like it is. Be sure to check out his latest DVD, Ostentatious, in stores now. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready to laugh. We welcome Ralphie May. Thank you for having me, and uh, thank you for almost applauding till I got my big ass to the microphone. Appreciate that. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you, everyone watching at home, uh, the vampires on the East Coast. Thank you for watching the telephone instead of uh, the Girls Gone Wild infomercial one-handed. Appreciate that. Um, <laughs> trying to make the world a better place, you know what I'm saying? I, uh, I had a great week here in Vegas. I had a great time at the South Point Casino. Uh, it's hilarious here. Um, it's, um, I'm from the South, so for me, uh, the amount of mullets that are here are tremendous. Um, there are a lot. Oh my gosh. Um, I set up a deer stand out in front of the South Point Casino and wait for them to come in. I haunt the mullet. I do. I call them. I'm like, mullet, 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 mullet. NASCAR, NASCAR, NASCAR. I um, sprinkle a little crystal meth on the ground. They'll come right to you. They really will. If you work with them and build up a trust, they'll take the tobacco right out of your hand. It's awesome. <laughs> they are tremendous. I, uh, I've seen some rare mullets here. I've seen the bullet. That's the bald mullet. Um, very rare. Uh, the the mullet, the female mullet, still very hard. Uh, also, uh, uh, I saw an Asian guy with a mullet, or as they call it, the murret. Uh, it is tremendous. <laughs> Great hunting around here. I love it. I, um... I go everywhere. I, uh, I, was on, I was in Asia doing a USO tour. I do a lot of work uh, with the USO. Um, it was one of my favorite things. And my wife, that's right, I'm married. Sorry, girls. Pack up your giners and go home. None of this good loving for you. Sorry, ladies. I know, I know you're thinking, what a catch. How did that nearly 400-pound man get caught up? I'm sorry, girls. I'm off the market. My wife and I, uh, she wanted to go to Thailand while we were in Asia. And uh, I'm like, okay, you know, what could be bad? It's December. What could go wrong? Well, nobody told me how hot it gets in Thailand in December. Um, it was about 100 degrees when we landed at night and 100% humidity, and it wasn't raining. Yeah, um, that's a little hot. If you don't know how hot that feels, it feels like a dog's breathing on you. That's how it feels. Uh, the humidity felt like me riding on your back, okay? That's what it felt like. <laughs> All right, it's horrific. It was so hot. All right, within walking out of the airport within two minutes, okay, um, my the, the twin stuck to my thigh. I uh, every, it was a dangerous walk. <laughs> um, yeah, you think I'm kidding? It wasn't no peach for me. I had so much powder in my crotch, it looked like I've been molesting donuts. It wasn't right. <laughs> you think I'm kidding? you? I swear to God, I, it looked like the start of a magic show. <laughs> it was, it's amazing. I uh. A lot of powder. And uh, the next day, the wife was like, let's go for a walk. And I'm like, no. All right? And she's like, why not? And I'm like, uh, we didn't meet on the Appalachian Trail, OK? I don't know why you want to go for a walk now. You knew I went a big walk, and we got married. As a matter of fact, I didn't walk at all that day. I waited at the end of the aisle for you to walk to me, if you remember correctly. All right? <laughs> and she's like, shut up, fatty. Put on your shoes. Yes, ma'am. I'm married. That's how you have to address your wife when you get to a certain age. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And uh, she wanted to go to a Buddhist temple during the day, in the middle hot of the day. Are you crazy? It's 110 and 100% humidity, and it's not raining. All right? And she wants me to go to a Buddhist temple. Great. I'm walking around the Buddhist temple. Uh, my boobs smell like vinegar. Um, all my powders turned to pancake batter. Okay? <laughs> I sit down to catch my breath. Boom. All those little Thai people are putting incense around me. That ain't nice. <laughs> Laugh it up, fellas. This is the show, okay? Come on. <laughs> I swear to God, they rubbed my tummy for good luck. I said, rub lower, good luck. All right, uh, <laughs> hey, you know, when in Thailand, you try to take advantage of the local customs. Anyways. <laughs> The strangest thing in 20 years of doing comedy that's ever happened to me happened to me when I was in Thailand. I was walking outside of the Asia Hotel in Bangkok, Thailand. I turned the corner, and I got hit by a baby elephant. <laughs> Swear to God. I know you're going, that never happened. Let me repeat. I was walking down the street. I turned the corner, and I got hit by a baby elephant. Now, that would have knocked a lot of people down. 
<laughs> but I, I'm not going out like a, to a punk to a baby ass elephant. You know what I mean? You gotta be, if I'm gonna get knocked down, it's gonna be from a grown ass man elephant, okay? It's not gonna be no baby elephant gonna punk me out. And, uh, and we met, our eyes met, and we're both thinking the same thing. I could take him. <laughs> and I didn't know this then, but I found out later that the elephants had the strongest sense of smell in the animal kingdom. I didn't know that. I don't know if you knew that. I didn't either. The elephant, when we were face to face, he took his trunk, placed it on my crotch, and breathed in. And I experienced a joy. <laughs> I, oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yes. I was upset that was the only elephant I saw while I was in Thailand. <laughs> I was walking around with peanuts in my pocket, and uh, I seen everything. Still, I seen an elephant fly. I um, <laughs> that's our trip to uh, Thailand. My, my wife and I, uh, we uh, we have two babies. Uh, I have a little girl who just turned two yesterday. Her name is April June May. Uh, she's adorable. She's a little peach, and um, uh, and I have a brand new son who's ten weeks old. Um, uh, his name is August. August May. All right, I know, and uh. I know, we're the, that people. I'm sorry. Uh, but I try to forget it. Bet you can't. All right, anyway, um, people ask me why I was doing this show tonight, and uh, it's for those two babies. Uh, if you're at home and you people in the audience, good folks here, uh, thank you for watching the telephone. Thank you for being entertained. I hope I could add to that. But the real reason we're all here is uh, to stop a horrible disease. I'm a new father. I have two babies under two, and I couldn't imagine if either one of my children was sick. And if I did have that unfortunate thing in my life, my two angels, something happened to them, I would hope someone like Mr. Lewis and all the good people here at the telephone would work for him. And I hope somebody like you people at home would help him out. I know my wife and I are going to donate, and we ask you to do the same. I'm Ralphie May. Y'all been beautiful. Thank you so much. Good night.